Anugha and welcome to my YouTube. This is the second episode of my home setup series. In the first episode, I gave a makeover to my kitchen. If you haven't watched that video already, the link to that video is in the description box below. So today, I'm going to give a makeover to my living room. That is the main door of the house. We have like a small portico over here which leads to the terrace and this is the door of the living room and this is the living room it's quite spacious yes and we only have this much seating right now like i did in the kitchen makeover here as well we're going to take a step-by-step -step approach and the first step is to understand the functionality of this room the living room is used majorly majorly to watch a lot of shows and series and movies on TV. My husband and I usually in the evenings we'd sit down and the question we ask ourselves is okay what do we watch today? So TV is definitely one focal point which binds us together and lets us spend more time with each other and the other aspect is that my dog is always around me when we're watching TV and since we also have a lot of space for her to run around inside the house what usually happens is a lot of her toys are usually on the floor just like that lying around so of course when it is her playtime I'm cool with that but I feel like I can keep a basket for her for her toys and I can pick them all up and put it inside the basket when it is not her playtime and she's sleeping or whatever it is so those are the two main use of the living room and the other thing of course when people come over living room is this place where we sit together and chat we have snacks together so basically we play hosts for guests so for people coming from from outside inside this house living room is a place that connects all of us together so this is all the functionality of the living room in my house step two is to plan the vibe of the living room like I said this is a space for us to bond with each other and to bond with other people that come home so the vibe that we want in this house is basically something that's calm and cheerful so blue is the color that represents calm and yellow is the color that represents happiness and luckily both my husband and I love both of these colors and so I plan to add a pop of both of these colors inside the living room step three is to analyze the problems in the living room currently so the number one problem I see there's a lot of white spaces in the wall and it doesn't have that characterization or customization that a living room should have and then of course the tv is sitting on the coffee table so it needs to be mounted up there and the coffee table needs to be released the couch is extremely plain and boring so i think we can add a few elements on the couch and then there is this old school showcase which i kind of want to change or do something with it but i'm not yet sure what with a notebook and a pen i'm sitting down to plan the entire living room right now which is the step four so i have here like a rough diagram of my living room currently the couch sits here and i would definitely like to keep it like that and the tv will be mounted on the wall like this and the coffee table will come right over here in front of the couch and there is a hook over here on top of the ceiling basically so i'm thinking i will add a swing here um i think it's here i'm wrong there is a hook here so i will add the swing here if i add the swing here there could be one small problem the people who are sitting in the couch i feel like the tv won't be as visible to them because of the swing but not really i think it's slightly over this side so should be okay so this is the swing this is not the swing this is not the swing so this is the current idea and of course i want to add a basket i will add the basket under the tv for alu's toy and i will add a plant here i really like to add a plant on the corner so it looks pretty and nice and of course i'm thinking if i can add a floor lamp over here then i think that would really bring a beautiful vibe in the entire space and i'm going to bring in blue and yellow cushions maybe and also throw or like a cushion covers like covers to the sofa itself on the thing so that will bring in the blue element and in the showcase i'm thinking if we can get the glass removed that will be a little better
soon as we enter the main door, like behind the door, we have the shoe closet. So the makeover is beginning with setting up of the shoe cabinet. So let's begin. I am taking off the set-top box and I'm going to put it away because we no longer have cable connection, we no longer watch cable TV. We have an Android TV and we watch everything through the apps and the subscriptions that we have. So there's no point of it just lying there is what I realized. Everything that I want to put inside the showcase is right here. I had actually planned to take off the glass to make it slightly more aesthetic. However, it's not possible. So I have to work with what's available. And right now, I don't really know how to make it look as good because I don't get the concept of showcase. But I'll just try and see what I can put in here and to make it like as aesthetic as possible while making it functional as well. My living room is finally 
finally ready for you to come inside. So let's begin the tour of the living room after the makeover. Beginning from this is the main door. So as soon as you enter this side, you see the basically you not see it because it is behind the main door. It is my shoe closet. So the top section I've kept my shoes that I don't use as often. The heels and the shoes, like the clothes shoes that I wear. And then we have three racks for my husband, in which we have only three pairs right now. And then the next three are again all for me. I have all the shoes that I intend to wear often. And the last section there is for you know guests to keep their footwear or anything extra storage there. And of course, this box, by the way, is a box of treats for my dog. It is used for training her. So next, this side, as soon as you move forward, which is right here, is the door for the living room. So as soon as you enter, you see this mesh frame wherein I will be putting pictures. I know I haven't yet actually gotten time to print those pictures and that's why it's empty right now. I'll show it to you some other time. But this is where I will put some really memorable pictures. I've chosen pictures that have actually not gone up on social media. So very, you know, special and raw pictures will go up here. And up top, there's something interesting. It is a cycle light, basically. So it lights up like that, it's absolutely beautiful. And then as you turn, you see the entire living room. Let me begin with showing you what I did with my showcase. So up top there, I put a picture, I had an old frame to which I added a new picture of me and my husband from our old days. And then right here is a tabletop decor piece that says born to drive. That is actually gifted to my husband. He loves to drive. It should actually even I love to drive, but yeah. And I placed a tuk-tuk that we bought from Thailand for the memory of the place that we traveled to. And there is another, you know, small scooter that my husband gifted me for my birthday. So that is that. And then uh, in the next level, I kept a hand sanitizer just in case anybody needs as though we are kind of out of the pandemic zone I still kept the sanitizer that I have and then there are two photo frames that are symmetrical of my husband buying two of his cars one after the other in one in which I'm not present because this is before we got married and the other one is after we got married and over here I put the candle diffuser I absolutely absolutely love scented candles and candle diffusers and scent diffusers and all of that so in each room you'll find one of that in my house so basically there's a diffuser there is the oil and then there are tea light candles and next what we have is like the keys and then we have a box of treats for my dog and then an organizer to keep our wallets and any bills essential bills and then next there's this huge area that i intend to keep a plant mostly artificial plant because I can't water it, it doesn't get enough air and sun and all of that. But I haven't found the right one so that's why it's empty. And these two are some, um, you know, when I was cleaning my room in my old house, I found these. I don't remember why I bought them, just like decor pieces, but yellow. So I thought I'd add it here to give that pop of color. And just like a tree and you know, all of that. And then we have the remote of the TV and the router for the Wi-Fi. And over here, it's a small gaming section. I added three games we absolutely enjoyed playing. Jenga, Uno cards and the regular cards. We absolutely, absolutely love Jenga. I intend to add more like such smaller games for us to play by ourselves or for our friends when they join us. So yeah, that is the gaming section that's right here. So that's all about the showcase. As for our plan, the TV is mounted on the wall and that is a small basket for all the toys of my dog. Now quickly let me show you the seating that I've done to the living room. There is this couch that went from like boring brown to some beautiful yellows and blues and some cream, beige, whatever you call it, rope on the sofa. And then over here we have the chair and then there's a beautiful white chair and then another beanbag. 
The swing that I wanted to actually put in the living room didn't really fit well. You know, the hooks weren't in the right place. If I would place the swing floor, it would just, you know, obstruct the TV viewing from the couch. So that's why we decided to get this beam back and place it here. So right now we have three plus three seating, which will be kind of, you know, decent enough for hosting like a small get together as I'm just like, you know, hosting a couple of friends in the house. And uh, yeah, beam bag is also great because my dog uses it as her daytime bed because her night bed is in the bedroom and she doesn't like to go and sleep in the bedroom during the day. Alalo. And this is a beautiful tray I got from an online store. I'll leave all the descriptions to whatever I've bought to uh, this living room in the description box below. So this is the tray that I bought to keep on the coffee table. It has like a small artificial plant and then a few coasters because obviously if you're drinking coffee or tea or juice or whatever, then it's nice to have it. And it's also again blue. And then I have a scented candle again. It's from Home Center and then it's the blueberry flavor. So it's also blue and it's pretty and all of that. So this is a nice add-on and it's amazing because like my dog also doesn't do anything to this anymore. She's a trained dog. I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel because two more makeover videos are coming your way. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends and family. Until next time, bye-bye.